we'll move into the hurling if you don't mind because we do have a, a big game to look forward to this Saturday night. It's the second meeting of Limerick and Cork already this year. I think there's probably more on the line. I think it's fair to say this time around um, we're in Parky Cueve at half seven on Saturday evening. Uh, Limerick coming to the game, obviously, is three in a row at Ireland champions, four in a row, Munster champions. But over the last two years, the league probably hasn't gone the way they'd hoped. They've obviously rectified it, gone down the stretch. But would you see maybe more of a focus from Limerick in the league this year, do you think? Yeah, it's, it's very, very hard to call it, Jack. You possibly, you possibly will... Um, uh, they, 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 obviously, they got two games in 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 preparation in the monster in the monster senior league. But as 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 you can recall, um, uh, the the teams that lined out in the monster C, senior league, like um, whilst there was a considerable resemblance between the team that faced Cork to that that faced Kerry, I think those sides are going to bear very little resemblance to the team that John Kiley will name for Saturday, and. Um, I think we will get a sense of how Limerick are approaching the league when we see what the lineup will be on Saturday, uh, as to how many of the big name players will be rolled out. Now we know for certain. What we do know for certain is that Dermot Burns will not be available as he's travelling at the minute, and we know that Mikey Casey won't be available because he has he hasn't fully recovered. But thankfully, Mikey is on the way back. Um, yeah. But we 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 will get a sense of Limerick's approach to it. And um, like you, you couldn't have um, if if you reflect on on the twenty twenty two league, Jack. Um, you know, there's a sharp contrast between um, Limerick and Cork, uh, as you rightly flagged. Limerick, Limerick really they, they lost the first three games out of five last year. They yeah. then drew with Clare and had had a good win over Offaly in the final round. Um, to get out of the clutches of 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 of, of, of relegation, um, Cork meanwhile like four straight wins in in the first round, first four rounds of the league, lost to um, to Wexford uh, down in Wexford Park in what was a dead rubber game. Cork had already qualified for the semi final, then went on to beat um, Kilkenny down in Parky Creeve in 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 the. Um, in the league semi-final, and Jack, the expectation from a Cork point of view was that they would complete the job when they faced Waterford in the in the league final. But that didn't happen. Now, I, I, I can tell you that there's an insatiable appetite at the moment in Cork to get their hands on silverware. Like, the, 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 the Cork statistics and, and their relationship to silverware are damning, if you like. Um, it, 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 Cork haven't won the league for 25 years, Jack. Yeah. They won it in 1998 when, when, when Dermot O'Sullivan led them to victory over Waterford. They haven't won in All Ireland since 2005. That's <coughs> 18 years ago, which in Cork is a lifetime. You know? And um, Yeah, it is. So, it, like, so for Cork, you, it's you, probably... You, 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 you contrast that with the success that Limerick have enjoyed in recent years. And um, in in term in terms of of, of who wanted most, no matter what happens, it'll have to be Cork. Yeah, it it, it it is Cork in a way, but for Limerick, you know, Limerick won't play a bad team. There's no there's no fear of that. And you say there, it'll be interesting to see. I probably would imagine you'd probably have let's say eight to eleven of the All Ireland winning team. But then you'd have a couple sprinkled in, and you know the the quality in Limerick means that there's going to be no bad team. But you do make a good point there with Cork; it probably means more to them. But for Limerick, there probably is a feeling that last year Galway got close, Kilkenny got close, and Clare got close. That you probably want to put out a marker as well in the league that we are still the team to beat, and we are still the best team in the country. It is kind of a catch twenty two because you don't want to be. On the on the third or fourth of February, you know, hitting your peak, but at the same time, the season is so short now, it is, it is hard to pick it up. Limerick have done in the past, but it, it it's it's a it's an intriguing one all the same. It is, but like Jack, if you look back, if you reflect back in last year and see what bearing the league, uh, the league game had in the championship, the answer oh, is yeah. none. Yeah, like, I, Cork won the league game by nine points. Limerick won the championship game by eleven. 
Yeah, I remember being at that league game in in the Gaelic Crowns, and I, I was actually very worried at the time that you know this is the Cork team that we've been promised. Um, and you know they were they were exceptional today, but Limerick just turned it around. Um, come the championship, but with the likes of, of Dermot away and Mike Casey and Keane Lynch isn't back yet. Now I know Peter Casey is a full championship under his belt, but m- mightn't be in county centres. There is there is an opportunity for players to come in, and we talk about it every week new players coming in but there is a huge opportunity there um for lads to stake their claim because it's been the same team three years in a row um obviously Graham Mulcahy and Peter Casey have shifted positions um and Shane Sanigan I think in 2020 wasn't certain till the semi-final but it has been you know fairly straightforward picking the team that if Kylie is to shuffle his deck it's now that players on the fringes will be wanting to have their say yeah, he's he, well, from a start. If you if you if you're if you're talking about um, how many of the All Ireland team um, will 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 feature on Saturday night. First of all, John has got to find a, a three and a five, as the, the, yeah. that's two defenders that he will have to find. And um, like certainly during the during the the Munster League campaign, there were a few hands put up for the number five shot, and um, like. Is it going to be a straight battle between Mark Quinlan and 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 um, oh, Colin Coughlin to come in for that for that jersey at full back? Then you have versatility, like you have you have Richie English who can seamlessly move in full back. You've Dan Morrissey who can move to full back, and um, you've even Sean Finn who can move to full back. So, like there there there, that's, that's, there are there are so many options back there. Now there's a possibility, I suppose, that we may see Keane Lynch. Yeah, I, I was going to come to. <coughs> and I, 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 I would imagine that if we see Keane Lynch, it would be a cameo appearance. I would imagine. Yeah, I don't think that. there. I don't think there is much point. Obviously, the SNCs will know a lot more than us, but it's probably going to be either very hard ground below in Park Creek, depending on the weather, or else very soft this time of year. You know, it's either going to be freezing or quite wet. So I don't think for ankle and hamstrings. It's the best time, but it would be good to see him because it will take a while to get back to full fitness. He'll be one of the first names on the team sheet come championship if he is fit. But I suppose you talk about versatility there. If Keane is to come back in, he'll probably go to 11. You're going to have to find a place for Kyle Hayes because he's definitely going to start as well. If he moves back to wing, you know, Dan Morris can start in a three very easily that we could be just going back to the 21 team. But there's also, we spoke at depth about the players, you mentioned two of them, Colin Coughlin and um, Mark Quinlan. In the forwards, there probably isn't as many lads putting their hand up for selection. I think it's fair to say. No, no, no. Um, um it, 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 it will be. Um, you, you know, I, I, I can't. Well, of course, Shane O'Brien. I thought. Yeah. Um, you know, no. Um, Aidan O'Connor did all right in patches. You know, in, in the first game against Cork, certainly has a future at this level, but needs more time and needs more game time. <coughs> Excuse me, something gone with my breath. Um, uh, it's it's very very hard to see um, the tried and trusted, um, um, you know, in not being included in the forward line now. Um, I, 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 I've been usually impressed with Shane O'Brien uh, right through the championship in Limerick last year, and um, and um, it's certainly I thought he he did his chances no harm in in his appearances um, against Cork and against against Kerry. So um, he he is one that that that's, that stood out for me. Now it it was good to see um, Pat Ryan back getting game mm. time. Um, also see Barry Murphy getting some game time and Dan O'Connor getting game time. They're, 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 they're fringe players who who really have never left the side down when they're being called upon. And um, they, they got some game time and part in game time during the Munster League. So um, whether any of those will come into to John Kiley's thoughts, we, we, we just don't know. Um, we have learned a long, long time ago, Jack, um, how futile it is to be se- second guessing John Kiley. Yeah, a hundred percent. I I think you know you mentioned a lot of younger players there, but I suppose there there is people like you know a Dave Reedy, um, Richie English, Aaron Costello that are 
you know, they're they're out of the underage ranks a good few years at this stage. That I thought Dave Reedy the last few games last year in the championship that he was make, staking his claim. I'd say he was very close to starting the All Ireland, but his impact mm-hmm. off the bench is is such that you kind of want him coming off. But the likes of himself and I mentioned Richie is all is always brilliant when he's when he's called upon that they, those lads you know might put a push on in the league to say well we're sick of being on the bench we want to start now that I think it could be a, a really good league for Limerick with just the amount of competition there is for places there. Oh yeah, sure. Like the the the, the competition is, is is just going to be fantastic. Like and and um, um, as as you say, like the 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 the, the squad is. A, extremely strong and possibly has got stronger, um, uh, not notwithstanding the absence of Dermot Burns and 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 Mikey Casey. So, um, it it will be a very very strong squad that will go down to Lee side on on on, um, on Saturday night. But for a lot of the players, of course, it will be a first outing of the season, and I suppose there'll be a small. I know they probably have an awful lot of work done. But there will be a certain amount of, of um, game rustiness and all that sort of thing. You 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 probably see the like of Willem O'Donoghue and all those back now, possibly Garrod Hegarty back and um, Seamus Flanagan. You know Barry Nash. I think all these lads will 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 will. It'll be interesting to see if if Declan Hannan will start. Yeah. Um, you know, on on uh, at the weekend. So, um, like. You know, Declan has played so much of it that, you know, that John Kiley may opt to use him sparingly during the, the during the the league. Um, he's such a critical um part of the makeup for for the championship. Um, so like, look, make no mistake about it, John Kiley and his management team will have one eye on the summer, Jack. Yeah, hundred percent. And just finally on this game, you mentioned it there, just came to a head. The goalkeeping situation, we've obviously been very blessed with Barry Hennessy that if anything happened to Nicky, we had a ready made replacement there. And thank God not never happened to Nicky only that once. But Barry actually, you know, he started a month's championship game, played a load of league games. you you now have the situation where David McCarthy and Jamie Power haven't started a league game, haven't started a championship game. Do you blood those guys now so that if if the worst case scenario come in that they're ready to go or do you just pray to god that nikki will be all right for another year i i, th- I think they'll go with nikki i think they'll go with nikki um like the the the, 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 the whole goal goal goalkeeping um uh slots are very fluid fluid at the moment like you, you have david mccarthy in pole position to, to replace barry hennessy you have um, for the third goalkeeping slot, you have Jamie Powers in the mix. Is Jason Gillan in the mix? Possibility of Connor Handley Clark. Yeah, they're both they're both hurling the colleges. I don't know if they're in at Limerick, but they're they're definitely both hurling at the moment. Jason's obviously in fits, yeah. and Connor Handley is playing freshers with UL and has won a league already. But I think mm-hmm. I don't know. Have Limerick had four goalies at any stage? I think they might have in nineteen. I'm not sure, but. It'll be interesting to see do those lads get a run out. But, um, but Jack, you, you, your the, the initial point you made about it is absolutely totally correct. Like we 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 have we've named four goalkeepers. They are all excellent goalkeepers, but they lack that crucial thing called game time, and game yeah. time in the league because there, there there is no doubt whatsoever. Like that 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 the league is a step up from from the Munster Senior League. Yeah, hundred percent. And you then know, there's another and, step in um, the championship. Like, all right, the Munster Senior League, you're playing into county, um, but you really get big game uh, experience when you go into the league for first time. You know, and the league itself doesn't compare with the championship, as we know. So it's a, it's it's a step thing, a gradual thing, but yeah, um, yeah um, it, it'll be interesting. I think David McCarthy is in bo- pole position. Yeah, I'd agree with you there. I, I do think that yeah, and, and as well. Um, and I, I'm not being parochial on that, Jack, but I, I think he's a damn good goalkeeper, uh, has a very, very good puck out, and, and something that, that Limerick haven't used, Jack, um, at, at all. But I, I've seen it with Glenn Rua, um over the last number of years. He is an absolutely fantastic long-distance free-taker. 
Yeah, I suppose we do have a certain Dermot Burns that you know. I'm sure Nikki would yeah. would take him if needs be, but we have a we have a Dermot Burns back there that you know it means that we don't have to rely on the goalies. But it is a weapon that you know the likes of Owen Murphy and them have. But when you have a Dermot Burns, you don't need to to delve in, into that. Yeah, kind but of you need, you always need backup on all these things. Yeah, I know, but sure, Declan. No, Hannon I, I, a, I, I thought we'd see David having taken some of the line. I'm talking about 80, 90 meters, and he can plant yeah, but, him, you know. And I suppose he, he, he can do it. And he can do it on a consistent basis, Jack. Yeah, well, <laughs> look, the more the more free takers you have, the merrier. But we are blessed in the backs that I know Colin Cotton takes long range frees. Barry Nash is well able to take frees. Declan Hannon was a free taker and still is a free taker for a dare, you know, out the field. So. We are looking in that sense, but you you take all fifteen if they could take freeze anyway, because you never know, you know who who's on at any given time. But we'll park the hurling there for a minute, and I'll get back to you in a while because I just want to go through the league itself as a whole before it kicks off the, the hurling league. But 